taking the big news today. Okay, we're still trying to decide on that, and I guess it depends on which part of the world you're from. But is, let's see what's bigger. Geithner siding with the Democrats. Yes, coming out, press conference with all the Democrats behind him, and yeah, remember he's the Treasury Secretary and he's not supposed to be biased. Or Carmageddon. Yes, it's countdown time to Carmageddon, which is the closure of the 405 freeway. Between two freeways, only 10 miles, but guess what? I expect nightmares. Yes. And even the movie Harry Potter is already blaming results, or potential results, on Carmageddon. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. Geithner um, sides with the Democrats. Yep. Basically, in violation of his office, of which he is supposed to be totally impartial, he came and gave a private meeting to the Democrats' war council and sided with the Democrats on the fact that we, the Republicans, are irresponsible, we must raise taxes, and as everybody in the United States, but Bill O'Reilly knew. Actually, Bill O'Reilly and Ann Coulter, they, everybody with those two people knew the Democrats have now given everybody that Baba Day gave the Republicans my way or the highway. We're either going to have all tax reduction, we're going to have revenue enhancement, which is all taxes covering his spending, or we're going to have cutting, and there ain't going to be no cutting, folks. So guess what you're going to get? I know. Does that mean you're missing Glenn Beck? Uh, no, uh, here's okay. Uh, you want to know how bad this country is? So when Glenn Beck starts to look like Nostradamus, we know we're in bad shape. Mm -hmm. And Obama threatened senior citizens, Social Security, and Bill O'Reilly rolls over for him. Oh, Bill O'Reilly says we, Bill O'Reilly and some of the Republican, oh, hey, the elder Republicans, we can't afford to let this happen. It will look bad for us. If we bring this country to its knees, it will look bad to us. They didn't bring Greece to its knees. And it's been going on for a year, folks. Ireland hasn't been brought to its knees. It's been going on for a year. Spain is in collapse. Italy is in. You see any of those countries going under? Has the world collapsed with Italy, the third largest economy in Europe, not able to pay its bills? No. Then we're in a recession anyway, so it's not going to. Our bills will get paid. All they got to do is to, is to stop spending $330 billion on Obama projects. Actually, you know what you do? You're mad is when you give you a simple solution. I have a simple solution, says Mad Bull. Well, what's your simple solution? You know that stimulus money that's just sitting there doing nothing but Obama's flesh fund? You mean that $880 billion? We owe $330 billion for next year's interest. You mean if we take $330 billion out of that $880 billion, he's still going to have over $500 billion to spend on his election. Oh my God, is that simple? Mm. They've covered it already. The money's already sitting there. And Fury on the right as McConnell outlines new plan for Obama to raise the debt ceiling. I mean, th I, this is the most asinine thing. I mean, they said it's, it's, it's Bill O'Reilly, Ann Coulter, and old Republicans basically uh, deciding well, we'll put the onus on Obama. When he won't cut the programs, everyone will know he won't cut the programs. He will cut the programs. He's going to cut the defense budget. He's going to cut everything that doesn't get him reelected is going to be cut. And he's going to raise taxes. On. They said, well, the, the House and Senate will have to approve it. Well, if you approve giving him the power to do it, you're not going to say no to what he does. It's that simple. And nobody can understand that. I mean, Bill O'Reilly and Ann Coulter and McConnell and the old Republican card, they cannot understand. If you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile today. He's already done it. Yeah, as he continues to prove. Yep. And fake Democrats lose an early Wisconsin recall primary. They know. What well, is they, a fake Democrat? They never had. They were Republicans. They weren't fake Democrats. They, okay, they have crossover primaries like a lot of people do which means a candidate from either party can run in your, dem in your thing. If you're a Republican and you're running as a Republican, they did it here in California. They had, uh, uh, they had Republicans and Democrats running for, in the primaries to take a Democrat for a Democratic seat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's done. You know, if you're running a candidate as a Democrat, that should be a no-no. But if it's just a... Re the Democrats have already registered to run against the Republicans next week in their primaries. And Democrats challenge Obama's Afghan withdrawal plan. They want him. They want him out now. I mean, you know, it, it basically it's going to happen. Obama intends to flee the country like a chicken with his head cut off. 
he just know which day is he going to flee. I mean, uh, I, I know a person that was there on the Jeep in, in Saigon as the Jeep is fleeing with the, milit with the uh, North Vietnamese Army chasing him, shooting at him in violation of the rules that were, you know, the withdrawal thing. And, and he was basically one of those people, the last, what was it, last man, last man out of Saigon. He's watching the helicopters with people hanging on the helicopters trying to flee. And uh, this is what's going to happen in Afghanistan, folks. You're going to have a lot of people. When the last American pull is out, there's going to be people flooding into Pakistan and India like you would not believe, and Iran. Of course, the Pakistanis will kill them and the Iranians will kill them. So. And Obama shifts so much to the right, he could be a Tea Party member. I mean, I, I, I did not believe that news item. Oh, uh, come on, where does that one come that from? That came from a left wing, uh, actually it came from, it was on the Huffington Post, which is very left wing, that we don't recognize this man we elected. Well, let's see, he is, he's not going to do any cutting of any projects, he's going to raise taxes by $4 trillion, and they're going to continue to spend money. Does that sound like a conservative Tea Party person? Yeah, where did they come up with that one? Uh, well, because they're trying to make Obama look like he's conservative in reality. Yeah! Thinking that that's going to hide him, you know. And well, actually, from Bill O'Reilly and people like that, it does. Mm. So. And motorcycle gang members face federal murder and drug charges. If they're, okay, they put it this way. I heard him say last night, uh, they're illegal aliens and um, and they're Democrats, so don't ever count on those people getting charged. You know, you're more likely to see uh, Rupert Murdoch, who, who we're going to talk about Rupert Murdoch, they decided that Rupert Murdoch is an evil person, and the FBI and the Democratic Party have called for criminal investigations of Rupert Murdoch's news empire, and they would like all information on everybody that's working for Fox Corporation to be turned over to the FBI. But don't worry, none of this private information will be leaked to anybody. Mm -hmm. And they realize it might affect the next election, but this is too serious a charges being brought against him to not have to worry about the Second Amendment of the Constitution. That has to be forgotten about because of the crimes Murdoch has committed. Well, he didn't commit any crimes in this country. Let's put it this way. You can kill a million people in another country. If you don't do anything here and you're not extra dead into there, it doesn't make any difference what you did there. Uh, yeah. I mean, so his people in England did what all tabloids do. We're talking TMZ does it. I mean, every tabloid basically pushes the boundaries of every law they can push. And they buy information they know they're not supposed to have. But they always do that. I mean, anybody seen a national, oh, the National Enquirer and the Sunday Air Fox? Oh, yeah, yeah, but no. <laughs> no, but I, in my day, they, uh, I guess uh, LA Confidential and other magazines destroyed the lives of people with their investigations. But it didn't make any difference whether any of it was true or not. The whole world was, you know, was taught, you know, these people, okay, this guy smokes marijuana. You know, that, that makes you evil. Well, no, he just smoked he just smoked turkey cigarettes, but it smells like weed, so. Mm -hmm. But they would destroy people. They have been destroying people. Now, anybody remember Gossip Columnist? That's the movies they make on television that you like about all of those Gossip Columnists? They got started when I was little, folks. Mm -hmm. And Obama and lawmakers fall short on the debt deal. Oh yeah, Obama walked off basically. He basically, he walked off and today gave him, it's either my way or the highway to the Republicans. They are to bring in, Republicans are going to sit down and they're going to reach a compromise. A compromise being that Susan Collins, Olympia Snow, Scott Brown, and one other Republican in the Senate will vote to raise taxes. And 40 of the senior members in the House of Representatives who don't like, who basically couldn't, they never saw a dollar they didn't want to spend, are going to vote with the Democrats, and they're going to hand Obama his tax raises and no cuts, so. And New York town clerk quits over gay marriage licenses. Yeah, because um, there's no vote of the people. Every, here it is. Uh, we're talking 38 out of 38 state votes have said no to gay, no to gay marriage. 38 out of 38. Oh, really? But every single time you get it into a Democratic state that has a Democratic legislature, and they said, well, the Republicans control the Senate. Well, the two Republicans basically are now going to be Democrats. 
So, I mean, it's 100. These are guys that don't believe in abortion, supposedly, don't believe in immigration rights, don't believe that. And then all of a sudden, you know, we can't say how, why they changed sides, but they felt it was the right thing to do. And Brown, a hacking target is Murdoch Delay's uh, BSB, B Sky B bid. Well, actually, they canceled it this morning. They, uh, uh, and basically, what was going to happen was Murdoch was going to pay an ungodly amount of money for another news service, and because of the hacking stuff, I mean, okay, they're saying, well, his company in England hacked into the 9/11 accounts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was not here. That was England. England is different than the United States. They have, I don't see us putting the Chinese embassy people on trial for their hacking into our stuff. I don't see the people, you know. Oh, think about Wikipedia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right? That's right. Yeah. And explore to embark on quest to find body of Osama bin Laden. Yeah, and it's not going to be able to be found. Theoretically, you should be able to find it because anybody would have a brain knows if it was Osama bin Laden, they put a tracker on that body. Ooh. There'd have been an RSS feed on that body, so they would know if anybody came by and you know if this was trawl or anything. So if I, if he's got to know what I know and everybody else knows, they'll find the body and they'll find out it's not bin Laden if they find it, folks. And Emmy nominations announced. Yeah, and at least two of the two of the movies we got to see, Cinema Verde and uh, Men of a Certain Age, got Emmy nominations. But one of them is not going to be enough to save, though, I don't think. But the Peabody Awards, they got probably more. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That, uh, okay. When you know things are going to be bad and nobody wants to listen to you and they turn just as bad as what you said they were going to do, People hate you for telling them the truth.